This program is brought to you by friends and partners of Shaiju Matthew and Revive Nations. explain to you the manner in which it works. That means that God looks at you and He says, okay, she has overcome this level. That also means that she is ready for the next level. That means that before God can trust you with more power, before the Lord can trust you with more grace, more anointing, more gifts, more dimensions that you've never. He's waiting to see how you overcome the last challenge in your life. Because we have not recognized how the kingdom promotion works. The kingdom promotion does not work in a way where all the problems are solved and therefore now you are blessed. All the problems are removed and therefore no, 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 it's up to you. The level at which you learn to solve the problem releases greater responsibilities, greater trust from the Lord to trust you with more power because He sees how you did not give up in the last challenge, how you did not grumble with the last challenge, how you did not lose your prayer life, how you kept your gaze on the Lord Jesus. When he sees how you have not succumbed to the last season, then he gives you power to overcome new levels of demonic attacks. It's the life of Elijah. The man of God was very anointed, very anointed in a in a way that nobody in his generation had done. This man of God, who was so anointed to do exploits, when he could not overcome the fear of Jezebel and her husband Ahab, he was so scared, so fearful that his ministry was over. Then the next thing that you see is the Lord releasing him of his assignments. In other words, letting him retire. But to him who overcomes, more power, more authority is given. So that means that if Elijah didn't grumble and faint, he would have received the power to overcome Ahab and Jezebel. But because he didn't want to overcome, he gave up. He said, I am tired. Why is it there is always battles? Why? 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 Because that's who you are. The glory of God in you attracts persecution. So when a child of God refuses to rise and overcome, remember, the Bible says, I have overcome the world. The Lord Jesus that is inside of us has already overcome the world. And now it's our turn. Say it out loud, even if you are alone in the room, open your mouth and say, now it is my turn to overcome. Because the one inside of me has already overcome the world. Now he's waiting for me. He wants to see the exploits I will do this year. So fear is not an option. I must learn to overcome even this one. Hi kids, I'm Super K and the word saves the day. What's that I hear? Just when don't be afraid, look at all these fish. Whoa. So guess what happens next? It's a whistle. Look at all this shit. All you need is water, 
some food coloring and Red some wheat. Nuts. No, but you don't understand. My cows, my kids, even my mean wife. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. So the, the key, the secret is this. Every time, child of God, you overcome something. You have been, with or without your knowledge, receiving a hidden manna. Manna in the Bible represents the Word of God. Every time you overcome something, you are receiving a fresh grace to receive revelation or fresh understanding about the overcomer that is inside of you. So you, you really want to grow up in the spiritual ranks as a child of God. You have to learn how to overcome the challenges what the enemy throws at you by sitting at his word. And when you find the formula to overcome the situation through the word, then you receive victory. And when you receive victory, you receive fresh revelations that is going to give you even greater victory. <laughs> I hope you are shouting at home right now. <laughs> are you learning something? So, an overcomer is also someone who's living a life of victory and dominion. Because you learn to overcome everything. Dominion does not mean that you have no trouble. Dominion means that you're learning to overcome every single attacks of the enemy. You're learning through the word of God how to overcome. I bless you this day with great dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm hearing a song in the spirit. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Child of God, receive that song into the spirit. I wish we were here together to sing and dance with that song. Uh, but I believe that the Lord will begin to fight for you, the overcomer in you, as you lean on him in this season, as you abide with him in this season, you can abide by simply taking time every day to sit at his feet. Sit at his feet. Sit at his feet. Can you set yourself at least an hour every day? Maybe 9.30 to 10.30 in the evening or mornings where in a time that you and your family will not stop seeking the Lord. Because if you can abide with Him, if you can find Him in the scriptures, if you remain in Him, if you will overcome every temptation that the enemy throws at you, every crumbs that he puts around you to get your attention, every lie, every failure, rejection, thoughts that he throws inside you, weeds of the enemy, wrong friendships of the enemy. If you can overcome that and abide with the Lord Jesus, <laughs> Then tell of God, who can stop the Lord God Almighty that is with you? Who can stop? So bring yourself quickly under the blood of Jesus every day. Find yourself with a thought you shouldn't be having. Immediately bring it under the blood of Jesus and ask the Lord, Lord, I don't even want to have a minute of the day that 
I'm not washed by the blood of Jesus. Every moment, stay connected, abide with Him. You see, if my my hand, if it needs to hold on to the grip, this arm must be connected to the body. The moment this arm is disconnected from the body, then whatever this hand is holding is dropped. This hand can only hold on to something as long as it is connected to the body. That is why, child of God, the Bible says, He is the wine and we are the branches. We cannot bear fruit outside of Him. Jesus said, you cannot do nothing without me. Nothing. Think about it. Nothing is the word Jesus used. Nothing. We are a strange group of people that can do nothing outside of God. So everything that you see is because somebody is connected to that wine. So every day when you are faithfully setting yourself apart to seek Him, no matter how bored you feel now, how tired, how distracted you feel, you keep dragging yourself to the feet of Jesus. You stay connected to the branch. Then whatever is in your hand will be blessed. The work of your hands will be blessed. Remember, taking you back now to the 75th day, the Bible says, do not turn to the left or the right. And wherever your sole of your feet touches, that God shall, He will bless the work of your hands. He will bless the work of your hands as long as you stay connected to Him. Stay connected to Him. You will have great victory in the mighty name of Jesus. I release victory. Stay connected as a family. You have, you have quarrels. Overcome that. Overcome that. Overcome that and stay connected to Him. You will have victory. You have distraction. Overcome that and stay connected to Jesus. Whatever your hands do, it will be blessed. So when you see a certain lack of blessing in your hand, now you know, you have separated yourself from abiding with Him. So you sometimes you wonder, what is this? Why, why, why is my fruits going bad? Because you see, the fruit is on the branch. And the branch must be connected to the vine. So in order for your fruits to not go bad, the branch must stay connected to the vine. It is a wine that gives the branch the strength to have healthy fruits. So that fruit is even your children. In order for your children to be well, you, the branch that has produced that fruit, your children, must stay connected to the wine. Staying connected to life. Staying connected to the word. Staying connected to prayer. Ah, I feel the sweet, sweet presence of the Lord filling your house as I bring you fresh word from the Lord. This year, you shall not only overcome, you shall have dominion. Because to him who overcomes, the next step is you're receiving more power. Power to do what? You need power to open doors. Yes. <laughs> I'm just reminded of my little daughter who once in a while comes run charging to our bedroom in the middle of the night. She has access to the room, but yet she does not have the strength to open the door. So it's a wonderful, wonderful sight. She will just come running to the door. She'll just flop down and put her hands, um, put her face into her palms and just begin to cry. And immediately 
Her parents hear her sound and we go open the door for her. She has access but no power to open the door. Somebody that is training themselves to overcome. Somebody that is disciplining themselves to overcome. Somebody that is being patient and calm to overcome the marital issues you have. Somebody that is being sincere in your prayer life. You're overcoming everything that the enemy is throwing at you. Unforgiveness shall not be part of your life. You're overcoming bitterness. As you overcome these challenges, you're also receiving power to open doors. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You know, the Bible says, He gives power. Media team, if you can get me that verse. He gives power to make wealth. Power to make wealth comes from the Lord. Think about it, child of God. Many other levels of power. Power over nations. Power to reign. Power to rule, to have dominion. Power over your health. Power over mind attacks. So you overcome your last mind attack to receive power over future mind attacks. There are some mind attacks should have been gone long time ago and still pursuing you. You need to overcome that so that you have greater grace to overcome bigger mind attacks. Receive power in the mighty name of Jesus. Wave your hands, wave your hands if you're receiving with me. If you're watching, if you are diligently hearing fresh manna, ah, juicy meat, <laughs> enriching word, uplifting grace that is coming to you this day. Don't lose me. I'll uh, shortly conclude. Child of God, great victory is waiting for you. Before you can be elevated in the natural, you need to be elevated in the spiritual. So some of you are thinking, yes, but to him who overcomes this manna and this crown and uh, all these, these things that we are talking about is an invisible realm. Please do not, do not forget <laughs> that it is the invisible realm that rules the visible realm. It is not the visible people that sit on a, a throne that rules the world. It is the invisible realm that determines who rises and who falls. So in order for you to have victory in the natural realm, the natural world order, in the everyday life that you can see through your physical eyes, you must first have victory in the realms of the spirit. In the realms of the spirit, God is waiting, watching how you react in the natural. How do you deal with grief? How do you deal with anxiety? How do you deal with the lies of the enemy? How do you deal with that friend that is trying to take you away from the Lord Jesus? How do you deal with those temptations, those crumbs? How do you overcome? What app does do you need to delete from your phone? How do you overcome those things? God is waiting and He's watching. And when you overcome those things, He gives you grace. He gives you power. Ah, you can say that out loud in your house. Power. Say it again, say it again. Believe it. God is releasing 
grace in the invisible realm that now when you rise to build something you begin to bear much fruits now when you rise to build you begin to have great victory hmm. so we thank god for the battles that is a setup from god to take you to a higher place it is a setup the battles your heart in your battles in your mind in your finances in your marriage around you everything that the enemy is throwing at you your church your ministry this year is a setup for god to give you greater power i said this to somebody i said satan for some reason doesn't get this formula he is so sure constantly he thinks that the next battle is the one that he is going to win and he is counting on your doubts in your mind and he's counting on the words that you confess he's doubting on on you believing the lie of the enemy more than anything else he's believing that so that you will believe a lie long enough long enough so that now you can help him prophesy your doom amondo roko satara basia but today we have exposed it today a secret formula is given to you today a practical key is given to you and with that much grace is coming to your door laru no mo mo tell of god you are going to overcome waves when the waves come i hear the lord say let me find you who's quickly the book of psalms chapter 29 in verse 10 says the lord sits enthroned over the flood the lord sits enthroned as a king forever may the lord give strength to his people may the lord bless his people with peace i'm inspired to give you this word whatever floods the enemy want to bring against you against your ministry against the purposes and the calling of god in your life remember this verse which is coming to you as a prophecy no matter what floods the enemy is trying to bring stay calm it will not overwhelm you <laughs> it will not overwhelm you you must have fun you must play in it you must find solutions to that flood shut down whatever leak has caused the flood to enter locate the leak close the leak and have fun as you get the floods out and make sure to increase your barricade so that those floods will never repeat again in your house but don't let it flood your heart <laughs> don't let it flood your mind have fun because the word is coming to you some of you need to make this into a wallpaper and declare it loud and clear over this year i release great unction to your spirit as you hear this word the lord sits enthroned over the flood flood is not king the god you serve the overcomer sits enthroned lifted elevated whatever storm 
is coming against you, child of God. He sits above it. We have a God that sits above the storms. Great Shalom to you. Hello, welcome to Revive Nations and we are so glad that you could join us once again. I pray that this video has blessed you and I pray that this word will germinate in your spirit and your spirit will continue to grow as you start living this word and the word will manifest in your life. Write to us and let us know how these videos are impacting you. We would love for you to join us on our social media platform as well. Thanks to all of you who have sent financial support to help us to reach the word to the nations. Until we meet again, stay under the mighty hand of God. God bless you and Shalom. Many of us love Jesus by our words, Facebook posts and scripture quotes. But when God wanted to show us how much he loved us, he gave up his only begotten son. The proof of our love is seen by what we lay down at the feet of Jesus. No, God will not coexist with us in compromise. He is not looking for part-time Christians, nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything. Hi kids, I'm Super K and the word saves the day. What's that I hear? Just when don't be afraid, look at all these fish. Whoa. So guess what happens next? It's a whistleblower. Oh, you bet. All you need is water, some food coloring, and Bread. some wheat. No, no, but you don't understand. My cows, my kids, even my mean wife. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services.